In this video, we'll look at the aside tag and we'll also style it with CSS. The aside tag is part of a category known as semantic elements. These elements act as containers similar to the div tag, yet they provide context and meaning to the content they enclose. Take the nav tag, for instance. It houses navigation links. The explicit meaning attributed to these semantic elements aids search engines and assistive devices in recognizing their function. Additionally, they contribute to clearer and more maintainable HTML code for developers. If you're interested, I've created an additional video that demonstrates the use of these semantic tags in building a sample news web page. There's also a companion video that applies CSS styling to it. You'll find the links to both videos in the description below. So how is the aside element used? It's used to contain content that is not directly related to the main narrative of the page. It might contain related reading links, an author's biography, or editorial insights or opinions. In this example, we have an article about the internet. The aside element is used to give information about HTML, which is indirectly related to the topic of the article. It's common to see an aside element displayed as a sidebar, and so that's what these CSS styles do. And there you have it. Remember, the aside tag is all about enhancing the reading experience without distracting from the main narrative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.